I might be addicted to ships in Starfield. I just think they're neat. I'm constantly harassing these engineers to look at their stocks, see what cool ship they have to offer. If building ships is too much for you, then here is a list of the best ships that you can buy in Starfield. Let's go. Let me know in the comments what your favorite ship in the game is. So firstly, let's talk about where you can find ships. Now, all major towns and cities will have like a ship services ship engineer that you can buy different ships from. Now, these ships will be different and they're often sort of based on a theme. Like, for example, the Crimson Fleet engineer will sell Crimson Fleet ships or the Stroud and Eklund engineer will sell Stroud ships. Like it's sort of basic around like what they are specific to. And ship sellers will update their inventory over time as you progress through the game so i may mention a ship here and say like you know this ship comes from this vendor but that vendor may not actually sell it for you but in my testing it's some random element here that a lot of the sort of typical stock will rotate or update or get into your versions as you press through the game but then there are also unique ships like the last ship that most of the engineers sell will be unique to that vendor so just keep an eye on those if you find someone that you like then returning to that vendor to grab it when you've got the credits is also a good thing to do but Make sure you check those vendors often because they will update their stock. So I am here specifically talking about ships that you can buy, like not free ships like the Star Eagle or the Wonder Whale or others. That's a different video and that'll be coming soon when I'll link it here once it is out. But we're talking about ships you can buy and we'll start with the best A-class ship. So A-class might be the weakest class in the game as you just have access to it anyway. It is the lowest class. So you've got a lot of options here like the Echo Hall, but I think that you either, if you like want to buy a ship in the A tier, but I wouldn't honestly recommend it, but if you're going to, then the Galileo is probably a good option here. It's a much better offensive ship than, say, the starting Frontier, but it also has a large sort of skeletal frame that's easy to upgrade over time, say, if you wanted to keep this sort of general layout of a ship and then sort of upgrade it. Whereas, you know, compared to something like the Frontier, it's sort of hard to keep its original silhouette and sort of framework if you're trying to upgrade it over time and add new pieces, whereas the Galileo, it's a little bit easier to do that. The Galileo also has a good crew size with four and a decent jump range and also some really good weaponry as already mentioned but the real downside here is that cargo capacity like the first thing you'll want to do if you're using the ship is increase that cargo capacity but all the a-class ships like have this sort of a thing where they've got like a positive and then a drawback right because you know they can't have everything now the galileo can be found at any sort of a vendor but typically you'll find them at the new atlantis vendor you can grab a galileo from there the best b-class ship is the shield breaker in my opinion it's actually one of my favorite ships in the game i am still using one to this day that I have like heavily upgraded and now looks like a complete maniac, but it's still a shield breaker. So the shield breaker has a great cargo size for a B class ship at like over 2000 as it's starting. Now what's really unique about the shield breaker is its pulse turret. So it has these three pulse turrets that are really high quality turrets that will fire automatically in combat. So you don't have to fire them. So it's got that great offensive potential. Plus it has a good crew size and cargo. It's just a really good all rounder. And because of its sort of shape, it's very easy to upgrade. So if you wanted to change the habitation modules to like add a workshop or something like that. The interiors of the ship are really good too. Like I love ships that are just sort of on one level that aren't sort of obnoxious with their like ladders and layering and stuff. Like it's a good ship for combat. It's got that potential to upgrade it in that way. And it's just a really good all around option in the B class. The shield breaker can also be found on New Atlantis via the vendor there if you want to go and grab that man. Boy, the best defense defensive ship is the Stronghold. So the Stronghold itself, now this is the best defensive ship because its hull is already over a thousand when it starts out and it has a 1600 shield as well. So it's also got a really nice sort of like silhouette with those like massive tanks on the front that I quite like, but it's got a really solid jump range as well. It's a C-class ship. So you'll also have a ton of power to be able to apply to its different systems. A thing to point out here with the Stronghold is its offensive capabilities are its weakness because it really leads into that defensive ability so you may want to actually change some of the weaponry on the ship if you do choose to go this route but it is a good option right like you've got ballistics and laser turrets so it's not really good for piracy because they are turrets so you can't fire them yourself but also it just helps with the lower amount of maneuverability that the stronghold has the inside of the ship is pretty barren like it's sort of got like the cargo hole and and sort of nothing really that is 
stand out -ish. like i like the actual the layout of it it does have a workbench which is you know the main thing that you sort of want in some of these interiors there is a lot of empty space so running around the ship can you know sometimes be tedious because it is quite large but it is quite a nice ship and if you're really struggling combat it's a great option because it has that high hull and high shields and also turrets that fire automatically that you don't have to sort of lock on and fire yourself so it definitely helps in that regard and you can grab the stronghold from the Aquila city ship engineer moving on to the best offensive ship now there's plenty in this category like you can even put shield breaker here to be honest but i am a fan of agus or aegis i don't know how you say it but you get the agus Ang angus let's call it angus all right you get angus from the deimos star yard in the soul system now this is one of those unique ships that we mentioned earlier it comes with lasers a very high amount of ballistics that shoot sort of like in a shotgun like sort of burst as well as a really strong amount of missiles now what's really good about this ship is one it's a b-class like the shield breaker it's got a high amount of crew it's got solid shield and hull and also great jump distance but because it is in that sort of b-class and there's a lot of flexibility in terms of upgrading this ship so if you wanted to lean even further into its sort of weaponry it's got great room for that improvement like improving the habitation modules or the engines to make it more maneuverable it's a really good early game ship with a cheap cost like you're not going to break the bank buying the ship but it's got great room for upgrading it and adding those additional hab modules like a workshop or something that you particularly prefer while keeping that mobility as well as that high amount of like good weaponry that the ship does have so plenty of flexibility with the angus we'll get into some higher tier ships and we'll start with the crew command ship the best one with crew command for me this has to be the dragonfire for a couple of reasons so the dragonfire has a great amount of cargo capacity at well over 2500 is a c-class ship with decent energy though i would probably be putting a better reactor in it if you were going this route but the reason it's the best crew command ship because you come with seven crew slots just by default on top of that it has this like incredibly cool like bridge where you have these stairs that you like walk up to with this great view that you have out the front really like the bridge in this ship and it gives you that sort of like ship command vibe from just like having the ship it's got a decent amount of hull and shield capacity as well as like some okay weaponry with the particle beams and the ballistics but i would probably be upgrading that as well as improving your reactor if you're keeping this as like your main ship potentially the mobility because it does have a low amount of mobility for a ship that of this size because it's you know trying to get that sort of unique look that it does have the interiors of this ship are very well thought out like it's got that amazing bridge that we already mentioned you've got the captain's quarters sort of behind it in this like nice you go up the stairs and it's very rare to have stairs in ships so i just really like the sort of general layout and look of this ship and it's a perfect addition to your starship fleet if you do have a lot of crew and you've invested into that crew command skill now the dragonfire is one of those sort of random ships that are hard to find i found one on the gargoyle landing as well as i've also found at the red mile but it's sort of it can be anywhere right like i'd just be checking vendors and see where it does come up for you the best smuggling ship is probably the crimson fleet wide now this is also great for crew as it does come with seven crew its jump distance is pretty small so you may want to change that but it does come with 19 shielded capacity as well as a decent amount of cargo capacity but you can get from this same vendor multiple different crimson fleet ships that you can actually use and sort of pick whichever one sort of suits your overall playstyle. now that vendor is on the key which is the crimson fleet's star yards you can go there and talk to them and they'll have all the crimson fleet's ships that you can actually buy if you do want to go that route but it's a great option really because of that shielded capacity now you don't necessarily need a specific like cargo holder to do any of those sort of like smuggling runs and that sort of thing but i like the white because it's got a solid amount of cargo hold it's a really good sized interior that is easy to upgrade and change like i've mentioned before plus it has a good amount of shield capacity so it's good offensively as well compared to some of the others that are in this sort of a line the phantom is also a decent option but i've also got a video that breaks down spungling and contraband as well so i'll link that here if you guys want to go and check that out next we have the best cargo hauler and that has to be the silent runner so this is a unique ship that you can get at the hope town headquarters if you go there you'll be able to buy this all of the hope town ships have a great cargo capacity it seems to be like their sort of 
theme. Now, this is the highest cargo capacity just by default I found on a ship. And if you found a bigger one that's above like the 6,000 number, do let me know in the comments because I haven't found one. But this is a C-class ship with a really good jump range for a ship that is of this like size with such a large cargo capacity because it's got those great engines built into it already. While it does have a really nice interior in terms of its layout, the cockpit does leave a little bit lacking. It's just these general cockpit. I don't know, for me, I don't vibe with these sort of cockpit layouts, but it's a decent ship that has good missiles, but very low other weapons. Like the particle beam here is okay, but if you're picking this up as your main ship, it's definitely something that I would be upgrading. But, but as we're just talking about strictly cargo capacity, this is the ship that can haul the most if you're just looking to buy a ship rather than make your own. The Silent Runner is the absolute favorite for a cargo hauler sort of playstyle. Next, I'll give you a couple of just like fun ones to finish out. So first, we're going to talk about the Abyss Trekker. Now, the Abyss Trekker comes from Paradiso. If you talk to the ship engineer here, they will sell you this ship. This is a really interesting ship because it has two three by two hab modules, which is very rare for these sort of like ship layouts. It's got like that computer core as well as the living quarters there. And then the bridge is like on top. It's got an interesting layout, but this ship has a very low amount of mobility and it's got a lot of wasted space because it's mostly just like braces and like silhouette design from like having that extra like spine off to the side. It is a really cool ship though. Like you can do some interesting things with it. It's got the nice interior because of that extra space and it's got plenty of portholes to look out on and you know if you just want to sort of walk around on this ship great weaponry and a really fun ship if you're looking for like an offensive sort of focus ship but it's real downside is that cargo capacity is it has very low cargo capacity so you probably want to be removing some of the general things on it that are just like making the ship look nice and actually add cargo hold instead and last we'll talk about the narwhal so the narwhal can be purchased on neon from teo astro engineering which is inside the region industries building you go there and talk to the engineer you can buy the narwhal this is just like a fun ship like it looks really unique because of its like frontal horn it has got some really good weaponry especially ballistics and missiles really decent shield and hull as well so high defensive solid cargo being sort of around that 2000 mark so you're not too bad there with a decent jump distance and high amount of reactor so really a good ship if you like that sort of Teo industry design of like sort of the smooth you know rounded like edges definitely a great option but you could change some of like the engines to give it a bit more maneuverability because that's its main downside is the mobility so it struggles a little bit to maneuver quickly but you can improve the engines if you want to do that but just a fun ship that i thought i'd call out at the end here because it's got a lot of flexibility it's very similar to the shield breaker but probably better in most of those categories and it is a c tier ship so great crew size all of that good stuff so let me know your favorite ship in the comments down below i hope i've given you a good breadth of options here to try in your starfield journey thank you guys for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day